I had the opportunity to define what social studies mean, I would simply define it as the study of society. Now, I know you may be wondering, that is very basic and very generic. However, I love this definition because what it does, it allows us to go beyond just the study of history to examine how a society functions and works. Social studies means to me a class where you not only learn history, but you learn from history. And some topics that I love to discuss in social studies are topics that some people may not feel comfortable with having, but I think having those uncomfortable conversations are so important in making sure that you truly understand history and the mistakes that we've made, and then growing from them, and then learning to not make those mistakes again in the future. So these topics can include, you know, voter suppression, racism, gender discrimination, sexuality, and sexual orientation discrimination. Also, like humanities, such as like sociology or psychology, or anthropology as well, just like many things that do affect society. I would define social studies as the history of human beings, all the conflicts, all the tragedies, all the terms that we had as human beings. Um, I would also define social studies as our present, how our world is built the way it is today, um, why is our society structured the way they are today, how different countries interact with each other, how different human beings interact with each other. To me, social studies is the science of people interacting with each other in a society how certain events affect certain peoples, how one event leads to another, and how we can learn from the past in order to create a better tomorrow. I believe history should not just be learned, but it should be learned from. We should be able to have tangible applications for our students to take outside the classroom when we're done teaching them. We don't just teach history, but what we do is we use the study of history as a vehicle to build active citizens moderate it instead of lead it. I think letting students lead their own discussions helps them talk about things that are truly interesting to them and things that they are curious about. And I think that that is the best way um, for people to learn. I think when people are learning and talking about something that they're actually passionate about and that they're interested in, I think that people just retain that knowledge a lot more. And um, much better. I believe critical thinking skills should be emphasized because history courses can be memory retention focused. However, I feel like we learn best when we can critically analyze events that have taken place so we can learn from them as a society. With that being said, dialogue skills would be necessary to facilitate these conversations, which is why I feel that dialogue skills and those critical thinking skills sort of go hand in hand. Whether the information connects to our relatives, our town, or aspects of life that affect us. Exhibiting a relationship between history and the student makes the material meaningful to students, not just in class, but outside of the classroom as well. Having the kind of short but packed assignments, um, and an energetic teacher that knows what they're talking about and is interested in what they're talking about, and having an engaged class are like the three things that make a social studies class great. I'm also a visual learner, so seeing things like such as videos or like um, current um, current events like on the media, um, like CNN or stuff like that, um, would definitely be helpful. Um, Hands-on and working with other students, because not everyone has the same perspective as me. Most knowledge that we gain about what happened in the past is through books and sources that were written by people who were in higher or dominant positions, people who were ruling, people who were collecting taxes, European ship captains with at least two-third members of their ship being white. What needs to be added are sources that can show what was happening among the, among the other lower class people or the part of society that was left out of everything unless they were supposed to pay taxes or fight in wars. Even women. Women make up such an important segment of our history and yet we don't talk about them enough. I actively am a hands-on learner when I'm in class. I need to do things where I can practice what I'm learning. And the way that I would want to do this this U.S. history class is doing it through projects, finding connections, and sometimes through group activities and even presentations. And even though that's not most people's ideal way of applying their learning in the classroom, I find that it personally helps me because when I'm doing my research, I'm reading what I'm looking at, what I'm learning, and I put it down in a way for others to learn as well. 
I think if teachers have their students do group work, have discussions, circles, and create activities where students can apply their learning and include a lot of hands-on learning, then the students will be interested in what they're learning even more. I love teachers that are hands-on and uh, try to engage with the students, whether that's through discourse or projects, just to really get the students to be hands-on with you know, an article or a podcast or a map or graph. People who might be more visually inclined would watch a video. People that are more audibly inclined would choose to watch, listen to the podcast. I think this is an interesting way to allow kids to engage with things that suit their skills the best. I think that giving students the skills of curiosity and open-mindedness help them to become lifelong learners instead of just learning for a grade. And instead, students learn to be curious about things and to go on their own and be independent and research those topics or have discussions with another person about these topics to hear about it from their perspective. And their open-mindedness um helps them be open to receiving that knowledge and taking it in. Um, so I think those are just really important skills for students to develop. Lessons that gear towards our students' interests. I love to see topics on race, on gender, religion, different topics that seems taboo. I would love to have the opportunity to dive in it. Not to indoctrinate students, but to present them different perspectives to create their own narratives. If I could think about ways to do it, it would not just be with primary sources, but pairing those with effective secondary sources, allowing them to look at films and pictures and take field trips where they're able to visualize, feel, um, see, and use their different five senses to dive into these topics. What I think is very important skill to do this is critical thinking. In a society that where information is being shot at us, at different times all over the place. We don't know what is right, what is wrong. We don't know what is true and what is fake. It is important that we have a critical lens and to know how to scaffold through information to know what is correct.